Mate in Varucht, I guess Fach to Orscht, Jan Lesson Show. Good morning to you and welcome to this lesson. Hope your day is going well so far. Today, we're going to be looking at pronouns again. We're going to be looking at him, her, and them. And this includes how to talk about someone who values a non binary identity. We want to make sure folk feel appreciated, respected, and seen in the Gaelic community, certainly. Certainly. So, if you've seen my video about pronouns one, about me and you, it's going to be the same deal. And let's jump right in. Okay. Gleva. So, let's start with E. E is she. E. E. You might be tempted to say I. <laughs> e. E. Gleva. So, let's see. Uh, e ski hi ski hi ski right. oh hi ski hi ski Again, just like with me and u, in a straightforward sentence, we just plug in e. That's all there is to it. We could also use va, va e ski, b e ski, etc. Yeah, kleva. All right. Now here's where things get potentially more confusing, <laughs> or at least they don't look like e anymore. I'll guide you through these high frequency phrases. All right, so she has, what could we do? She has, she has coffee. Why not? Ha coffee. Yeah, the espresso. Ha coffee. <laughs> ha coffee echke. A coffee echka. A coffee echka. Mm -hmm. A coffee echka. It's kind of an H sound. Echka. Echka. And you'll get a lot of those little um, pronunciation tips in my other videos, and also in my foundations course. There's loads. Oh, there's lots of practice with all these different forms. Yeah, leva. Ha coffee echke. She has coffee. Echke doesn't look like anything like I. And if you saw the first video, you know we have a, a little trick for, you know, guessing if something is about me, if it's about you. But unfortunately with she, there's, there's nothing like that, I'm afraid. So, echke just is something to be learned. Echke, echke. Ha coffee echke. She has coffee, Gleva. Coffee. Ha coffee echke. I guess hai tolichtje. Gleva ha espresso echke. I guess hai tolichtje. All right, um, let's see. What's our next one? She likes dogs. Stol. Lea, stolea, a con. She, well, do the, you need to do that to be Gotham. I want things to be crystal clear to you. Let's make it literal. Stolje Nakon. She likes dogs. She likes dogs. Mm -hmm. Now, Lea looks nothing like E. And again, I'm afraid there's no little trick. However, there's a connection that really helped me when I was learning it. 
Leia sounds a bit like Leia, as in Princess Leia. So, she likes, Princess Leia likes, if that's useful to you. It was very useful to me, let me tell you, <laughs> years ago. Yeah, Stolyea Nakon. She likes the dogs. Princess Leia likes the dogs. <laughs> Gleva. What else do we have? Hakofi Ichke Stolyea Nakon Haiski. What else could we do here? Uh, let's do Ferak again, shall we? Ha. Ferak. Ooh, it's not going to look like E, I'm afraid. <laughs> Now this is pronounced a bunch of different ways. I learned Uda, Uda, you could say Ada, Ada, Haferak Ada, Haferak Uda, a couple different pronunciations. And again, it doesn't look like E, but what we're saying here is anger, Ferak. And I'm going to make a video all about emotions, how to talk about different emotions. For now, let's just uh, focus on ferak, and it's on you. Anger's on you. It's on you. A ferak ora. And just like how we had before in the previous video, all of these are actually combinations of e plus something else. So ora is ed plus e. On her. Right? Leia. With her. Le plus i, ehke. At her. Yep. Gleva. Gleva. So that's what all these are. They're just combinations of the, the pronoun, you know, like e and such that we're, we're used to, plus other words. They combine to make a new word. What is it the Power Rangers do? They combine. I don't remember. <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was it, yeah. Oh, Captain Plant. Didn't Captain Plant do that too? Oh. Anywho, whatever connection is useful to you, go for it. Go for it. Really use it. Okay, so haferak ora. Ora means on her. So we're still talking about her or she, but the word has changed. Okay. Gleva. Okay, so let's come over here to it. So this is they. And this can be an individual who finds a non-binary identity meaningful, or it can mean people, like a group of people. They, like them, them over there. Yeah, very useful, it. All right, so let's see. They're tired. Ha, it, ski. Ha, it, ski. Again, we just use it, just plug it in. Very straightforward in this type of straightforward sentence here. Ha it ski. Oh, ski. Extra ski. Ha it ski. And again, you could use va it ski, be it ski, etc. One big thing for me when I was deepening my fluency and working with different teachers was learning what's possible in Gaelic. So this might seem, you know, really obvious, but to our minds, sometimes it needs to see, just to see an explanation that something is possible. It needs to know that some, you can indeed do that in Gaelic, and then oh, opens up a big door, a big door of fluency, I think. Yeah, so that's part of one reason why it's really useful to work with a teacher, is your mind learns, learns what's possible in Gaelic. All right, ha it ski, coming back here, ha it ski, leva, uh, what they have, what could they have, what could they have, they have a ticket, let's do that, I mean coffee's nice, dogs are nice, but you know, nice to mix it up a bit, um, ha, ticket, <laughs> ha ticket, Achka. Hatikich achka. Notice there's another little H sound. Achka. 
a ticket jack. They've got a ticket. So hi Yetski. They oh Dulich. Oh Hami Dulich. Gorum. Gorum er yet. They are tired. Uh-huh. Ha ticket achka. They have, yeah, the whole thing. A ticket. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Ticket. Do 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 Play the ticket. <laughs> Don't know what that's a ticket for, but it's a ticket. Could <laughs> you? Leva. So achka. Achka at them. Ik plus it. At them. A ticket is at them. A ticket is at them. Yep, it's how Gaelic works with having something. It's at you. Or at them, or at him, at her, at all of those people. Yeah, Reva. And it doesn't look like it, I'm afraid. There's no little trick here. The trick really that I've seen really works for me and you and the rest. Usually they're distinctive enough like Yea and Princess Leia. Achka, you know, there's nothing else like Achka. Yeah, yeah, that could, that's, at least they're distinct. That helps, that helps you learn. I'm afraid there's no other trick. All right, um, let's see. They like, what do we got here? Stall. Lioa Stolioa Led Zeppelin. Yep. <laughs> Clever. Stolioa Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Gleva, yes. Scaniel. <laughs> Gleva Stolioa Led Zeppelin. Day like Led Zeppelin, Led Zepp, Leva, Shine, Shine, Stolio, Led Zeppelin, Zoso, Leva. <laughs> All right, and we have one more. They are angry. They are angry. Hmm. So maybe you're already getting a sense of what would come next. Ha. Huh? Ferak. Ora. Yep. Again, unfortunately, nothing like yet, but it is on them. Uh, let's see. Anger is on them. Mm-hmm. Hafedak ora. Anger is on them. Hafedak ora. Ooh. Hafedak ora. Anger is on them. Mm-hmm. Ora. Ed. Ed plus it. The, and these little combinations, they'll come as, as you learn them, they'll, they'll become more and more natural. And there we have it. So these high frequency phrases for talking, uh, we'll just using the pronoun they, in any situation you would. Yeah, Gleva. All right, and coming over here, last but not least, oh, Ferak. We need our Ferak. <laughs> oh, Ferak, we didn't put a Ferak here. <laughs> All right, now this is going to be very similar to the pattern. I hope by now it's a bit more clear for you. All right, what do we have? He is tired. Ha, a, ski, high ski. Done and dusted, high ski. Ski. Wow, Gleski. <laughs> Hi, Ski. A. 
E means he. Mm -hmm. And this is E. E. Sounds a bit like saying E. It's not E. Uh, well, well. Ha E. E. Ha E. Ha E. Ha E. It's not quite saying E like a Canadian would, <laughs> but it's not far from it, to be honest. Ha E. Ha E. Ha E. Ski. All right. So what? he's got a dog. We'll come full circle to our dogs. Thank goodness we have returned. <laughs> Clever. Ha. Ku. Ika. He has a dog. He has a dog. All right. Ku. 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 Oh, snock. Feva. Ku. Ku. Hakuika. He has a dog. Now this one actually is really clear what's going on. Ik, e, at him. Right? E means he or him, at him. If that's useful to you. It was kind of useful for me. I, I internalized, you know, ichke. And then ikke was a bit more straightforward of understanding how the words come together here. At him, ikke. Okay, Gleva, he has a dog. Um, he likes dogs. Running out of space here. <laughs> Stall. Leish. I'm afraid there's no trick. But it's not Leia, it's not Leia, like Princess Leia, that's useful. Stol Yesh Nakon. Stol Yesh Nakon. He likes the dogs. He likes the dogs. Mm hmm. Gleva. Just like that. And to round this off here, to round. Round everything up and wrap it up. He is angry. Ha Fedak Ed. Anger is on him. Remember in Gaelic, anger's on him. And there you have it. Four very high frequency phrases and patterns, four very high frequency structures here, using different pronouns, he, she, them, in different ways, including ways that are less obvious, <laughs> like Lewa or Ora, Achka. Yeah. And if, if this was a lot, don't worry, take a break, you know, take a few days off, come back and rewatch this video. Let it sink in. Our minds need time for this to all sink in. I don't expect you to master this like that. If you've already mastered it and you're getting a refresher, you know, that's great. But if this is still somewhat new to you, it's okay. Just give it time. Let it sink in. Revisit this video as much as is useful. That's one great thing about having videos online. They're always accessible. Yeah, you can always have a lesson with me online through the videos. Gleva. All right, all this will sink in over time. You're doing great. I'll see you in video three. Gleva.